In this video, we are going to talk about this photoelectric or infrared sensor, how it works, and how to use it with an Arduino or not MCU. Recently, I made a video about the small infrared sensor or usually called obstacle avoidance sensor. Now I want to talk about this photoelectric sensor, which is similar. But the sensor has more distance range, and also more stable since it is undisturbed by sunlight or radiation from the solar. So you can use the sensor outdoors without any problem. Just like another infrared sensor, the sensors also use its own light reflection to an object or obstacle to tell if there is something in front of the sensor. We can also adjust the distance of the object we want to detect or the sensor sensitivity with this potentiometer here. Since this is very simple and easy to use, it just gives us a digital signal. The sensor has three pins, the VCC and ground are for the power source and one more for the signal. Let's hook up the sensor to an Arduino. Brown wire to 5 volt, and the blue one is the ground, and the black one is the signal. I will use pin 2. You can use any pin for this. Then I test it by putting my hand in front of the sensor, and as you can see, it works. When my hand is in range or detected by the sensor, the red LED turned on. Very easy, right? Then I try to rotate the potentiometer to the left. And as you can see, now the distance is closer. Since the sensor just outputs digital signal, then we can easily read the digital signal on the pin we are already connected to. So I modify the digital read Arduino example sketch. We use pin 2, so I will just leave it. I will just rename the variable to photoelectric. If you are very new to Arduino and you want to learn from the basics, you can take my course, link in the description. This is the result. Wait. Before we continue the video, you can make me really happy by subscribing to this channel and tap the bell so you won't miss new video from me. It will print 0 when there is an obstacle in front of the sensor, and it will print 1 if there isn't. When you are using not MSU, you can do it the same way. But the sensor won't work if given a 3 volt power source. You still need a 5 volt source to power up the sensor. So in this example, I will just use Arduino as 5 volt power source since the Nord MCU doesn't have one. But you'll be fine if you used like a Wemos board since it has 5 volt output. Or you can just use external power supply or adapter. Just don't forget to rename the pin's name, and the result would be the same. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Consider to support me by joining this channel or just hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. Thank you.